Medina Arabic, Chapter 13, Part A, Grammar, Masculine Plurals. In this lesson, we learn the plurals of nouns and adjectives. In English, adjectives have no plural form. We say, for example, good man or good men. But in Arabic, even adjectives have a plural form. In English, we have two kinds of plural forms, sound plurals and broken plurals. In the sound plural, the word retains its original form. For example, book becomes books, pen becomes pens. In the broken plural, the original form of the word is changed to a great extent. For example, man becomes men or woman becomes women. We have the same thing in the Arabic language, although a bit more difficult. The sound plural can be either masculine or feminine. In this chapter, we'll be looking at the masculine forms. The masculine sound plural is made by adding either wow, noon, and feta to the end of the word or ya, noon, and feta to the end of the word. For instance, the plural of the word Muslim is Muslimun or Muslimin. So you might be asking, well, what's the difference between Muslimun and Muslimin? The difference lies in where you find that particular word in the sentence structure. If the word is found in the nominative portion of the sentence or the subject part of the sentence, we use the wow noon and feta. But if it's found in either the genitive or the accusative cases, i.e. after a preposition or as a direct object of a sentence, then you're going to use the ya and noon and feta. So adding wow noon and feta or ya noon and feta gives you the masculine sound plural in Arabic. Now we come to the broken plural. There are more than 20 different forms of broken plurals in the Arabic language, some of which you'll see in this chapter. We'll be going over plurals of some words one by one, which honestly is probably the only way to learn plurals in Arabic at this point. Once you've learned lots and lots of words, you'll be able to possibly identify what the plural pattern is. But for right now, when you learn a singular of the word, also learn its plural form. In this lesson, we'll also learn the plural form of hadha and hadhihi. The plural of hadha or hadhihi is haulai. Haulai means these, and it's used for both masculine and feminine. We'll also learn the plural of hua. The plural of hua is hum. Hum means they. We learned that dhahaba means he went, a past tense verb, conjugated for hua. Now we learn how to say they went, dhahabu. You'll notice when you look at the word dhahabu that it ends with an aleph. The aleph, however, is silent. And finally, in this chapter, we learn the word bad. Bad means some. And we can actually add a possessive pronoun to the actual word bad. For instance, wa badahum, mohandasun. And some of them are engineers. Now let's look at the, the plurals. First, talib, student. The plural? Tulab, tulab. Tajer, merchant. The plural, tujar, tujar. Hajj, pilgrim. Hujaj, hujaj, pilgrims. Rajal, man. Rijal, Rijal, men. Kabir, big or large. Kibar, K 
he bar, big or large, plural. Sagir, small. Sigar, sigar, small, plural. Qasir, qasir, short, plural. Qisar, qisar. Tawil, tall. Tiwal, tiwal, tall. Walad, boy. Awalad, awalad, boys. Ibn, son. Abna, abna, sons. Am, am, uncle. Ammam, ammam, uncles, on the father's side. Sheikh, sheikh, a sheikh. Plural, shiuch, shiuch. Daif, guest. Plural, duyuf, duyuf. Zamil, classmate or colleague. Zumala, Zumala. Fakir, poor. Fukara, Fukara. A group of poor people. Ranion, Ranion. Rich. Agniau. Agniau, a group of rich people. Sadiq, friend. Azdiqa, Azdiqa, friends. Tabib, doctor. Utaba, Utaba, doctors. Feta, young men. Fateatu, Fateaton, young men. Ach, brother. Ichwaton, Ichwaton, brothers. Jadid, new. Judud, Judud, the plural of new. Mudarison. A male teacher. Mudarisuna. Mudarisuna. Masculine sound plural. Teachers. Mohandis. Engineer. Mohandisuna. Mohandisuna. Engineers. Masculine sound plural. Falah. Farmer. Falahuna. Falahuna. Farmers. Mujtahid, diligent or hardworking. Mujtahiduna. Mujtahiduna. Muslim. Muslim. Muslimuna. The plural of Muslim.